hello, 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 and welcome back once again to another Timu haul. So my name is Shannon, and I am addicted, self-proclaimed, raising my hands, surrendering. I'm an addict. I am obsessed with this online marketplace. And that is exactly what it is. If you're not familiar with Timu, um, everything ships from overseas, usually seven days to 12. If they promise you an order is going to be delivered on a certain date and it doesn't come, you get a $5 credit. And uh, with me on average being home three days a week as a flight attendant, usually I'll place an order. I want to come back home. It's there. And uh, I've been backed up for a little bit. So welcome to my channel. I'm going to try to bang through everything. And again, I have tried to categorize it. So I have pre-opened some of the package pre-opened uh, just to divide it. Uh, I typically will randomly select items. Um, want to give out a special shout out to some of my new subscribers and followers. Uh, is it Luis or Guerrero or Leslie Guerrero? Um, should have wrote it down. But thank you for your kind comments saying that my hair looks good. Got it did today. So trying to blend that gray, uh, you know, you always feel so good when you step out of a salon. Just that, yes, I've got bounce, I've got curl. It's clean, it's cute. I don't need a wig or hair extension today. Uh, most days I do, because honestly, it's still pretty thin. And when I have to throw it up on my flight for service, that's what I do. So I will move around a lot during the video. I do apologize, I am still learning. Um, I have little like ticks and, and uh, as you can see, playing with my hair. But uh, anyway, I'm going to jump right into it. Again, um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so, like and share. I really, really enjoy your comments and I look forward to the feedback, uh, your constructive criticism, your feedback, um, everything from not holding items like that to the camera so you don't see it. I'm learning as I go. Uh, hopefully you can teach an old dog new tricks. I am rocking out. Uh, with that being said, I talk fast, I ramble, I mumble, pre-warning. So I am wearing one of my newest shirts, thicker than a snicker. Love the bling. Uh, material is nice and stretchy. Love it. It's uh, form fit. And uh, here we go. I'm going to jump right into it and try to bang out my second haul of this week. And I still have mm, maybe two or three to go. But um, this particular haul, again, um, I might pay a certain price. Um, excuse me, when you go online, it could be uh, different. I might pay five bucks, you might get it for two, you might have it for seven. I have a cart and I'll load it up sometimes with like a hundred plus items. And then I'll go back and say, ah, eh, you know, I'm." Um, gonna get married I just recently got engaged and if you're new to the channel I'm like I, I still have uh, over a year and a half to plan for the wedding do I really need that veil right now wish list and I'll wait and a lot of times the prices will drop Timu will send me text email saying hey your item was discounted or whatever lots of ways you can go on um, their games their what is it farmland fishland haven't done that yet I anticipate doing it but you can earn products that way refer your friends if they are a new user they will get some coupon bundles uh, I believe it's 50% off their first order and you get credit and uh, I don't know I really don't have anything to say negative about Timo I will always give my honest, honest opinions, whether the videos are sponsored, which have not been up to this point, fingers crossed, I'm trying to work on that. Um, but uh, if a product is just not up to what I thought it would be, or they send me the wrong size or color, I will let you know. And with that, they are amazing. A lot of times they'll say, hey, you know what, just keep the product, we'll credit your account, or they'll say, send it back, and the shipping and returns are on us. So you really, it's a win-win situation, you can't lose. So on this particular haul, I do like to switch out my home uh, with different decor. Um, it's just something I really enjoyed in my childhood. Um, I'm addicted to Christmas. My favorite holiday in autumn is my favorite season. And um, when my kids were younger, of course, you know, I'm a grandma. I got three grandkids. My youngest is going to be 24 in October. But I used to really go all out. Like, I would spend days. I had to have the nicest decorated house in the block. It's like that National Lampoon's Vacation competition with the neighbors. Like, who has the brightest lights and the best display? 
And I used to do really creepy, haunted, spooky stuff at Christmas. And uh, now I just try to let it blend in, like I'll do the whole season instead of just dance move for you. Instead of doing just Halloween, I'm like, okay, the leaves are turning. Apple cider, pumpkin spice, pumpkins, pumpkins, pumpkins. And so I stick with the thing. Here we go. So to start with, again, I pre-opened some of these. Let me get my handy dandy. Uh, there it is. Again, it's my second video today. I don't know how to edit yet. I'll get to it. I do apologize uh, if you have sensory uh, with the crinkling of the paper. And I will be putting the glasses on and off again. 100% polyester made in China. This rug, I'm looking for the dimensions. I believe this is a set. So I'll put the smaller one in front of my kitchen sink and the smaller one in front of the stove and larger one in front of the sink. So it's got the grip on the back. I'll start with that. It's got that kind of uh, felty texture, like your non-slip socks, so to speak. Pretty thick. It almost feels like it's the, um, help me out here, the waterproof, like the shower, uh, where it's absorbent. I, it'll come to me, probably when I end the video. Anyway, I thought this was cute. Got a little scarecrow. Happy fall, y'all! I got a thing for owls. I love it. Isn't he cute? So this is the smaller one. Yes. And then that was $4. Did I say that already? $4.98. Larger one with $7.78. I don't want to really put them out today because I, um, have the thick carpet in the living room and bedrooms and the rest of the house is pretty much ceramic tile and it's that ceramic tile that's very porous. So actually what I want to do is uh, get it professionally steamed. There's a company that'll come out and do it and so I'll probably wait to put these out. Not to mention I have the fun task of cleaning out the two car garage tomorrow. Yeah, these team orders backing up, and it's like, okay, am I a collector? Isn't that what hoarders always say? Borderline hoarding. But uh, definitely obsessed, and going to have a humonstrous monstrosity of a garage sale. And um, I do them about once a year. Never pulled in in five hours less than $500. I, I really slash the prices on my stuff. A lot of it is, if anything, gently used, and uh, I just donate the rest. And then I collect it again for another year. And then my fiance is like, I can't park my cycle in the car in the garage. And what's going on with your craft corner? And I'm like, well, what's going up with your gym in the corner? What's up with your camping gear? But anyway, let me stop venting. Yep. So this is a larger one. Again, same exact design, just bigger. So that one will go in front of the sink so I have that padding when I do the dishes. <laughs> How are you guys doing today anyway? Sorry, I'm, I'm going to constantly with my hair because I'm not used to having it curled and, and my stylist curled it. So I'm like, that is so cute. It's cute. I was trying to watch her do it and she was like, taking the iron and then going like this and pulling it and then pulling it down more and doing it and what is going on why is that following me that was really weird i don't know if you guys saw that yellow square but anywho um i'm kind of messing with it because the part's a little off and just want to mess with my hair all right next five dollar and 48 cents I guess I, I can take them out. Anyway, I have the shelf. I, I guess I can turn the camera, right? See that black shelf? So you'll notice the knickknacks on it. It's not like the best angle, but um, I will decorate that depending on the season. So Christmas will have like all elves or Santa Clauses or gingerbreads or candies. And I typically will have that themed. And uh, for the fall, I'll do 
the I, I like the owls and the chipmunks and the little furry forest friends and I don't know getting into the gnome thing too I know that's a thing you know just like those uh pickup truck patchwork kind of like mountain Christmas I guess vibe anyway this uh, again five dollars forty eight I believe there's two of these now looking at them they're cute don't get me wrong they need to be kind of fluffed up a little bit but I think 548 is a little bit much for them. Um, material, kind of like a plastic. It just, it, it's cute. It's kind of got the wheat burlap. Uh, let me see. These bendable. And I could probably play with them and mash them up. As you know, they cram everything when you get the baskets. But, I mean, it's cute. But $5.48, like $11. I, I don't think um, I would pay that again. I don't know what to compare it to. Oh, uh, let me see. Roku remote. So, maybe, I'd say from top to bottom, if that was fluffed up, eight inches. But it, it'll go good because the shelf has, like, tall, thin, wide. I mean, it's cute, right? Just little accent pieces. It'll last forever. But there is the second one. $5.48 a piece. Is it worth it? No, I'd probably, probably price it at maybe two and a half three dollars moving right along next item dollar 88 sorry i know i keep going off the frame and they were each um i don't have the batteries in them so i mean i'll take one of them out of the bag i'm not quite sure gosh this is really bothering me sorry why am i whispering i don't know Ugh, 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 ugh. Anyway, I got a few of these. They're, um, I should probably look. I think they're the Garland LED. They require some batteries. Let's open that. I thought I just severed the cord. Glasses. I want to kind of see the spacing in between the leaves. I got to kind of fluff them up, but I thought it'd be cool. Accent piece. I put them around the bookshelves and entertainment unit in the living room. And I, one of these days, I'll show you the finished product when it's done. I want to paint the house. I'm thinking, uh, as you can see, the walls behind me are kind of like a cream colored, and then I have like the mocha borders around the crown molding and door frames. And I think I want to do a light gray and white um, border. I mean, I, I just have a simple townhouse. It's, uh, yeah, I guess you could call it three bedrooms, two bath, car garage, corner lot. It's cute. It's just me and my fiance. It's enough for us, but one of these days maybe we'll go bigger. So I would say the spacing, if that makes any importance to you, can they slide down more? No, because the LED lights are on the back of the leaves. I wish I really should have been better prepared and at least thrown in some batteries. And I can run and do that, but then you're going to have some dead air space. And I'm trying to be a professional over here, okay? Um, but yeah, like, uh, I would probably double up and have the leaves somewhat closer together. OCD, don't judge me, and kind of just have them hanging different angles. But I uh, paid a dollar eighty-eight for these. What kind of batteries do they take? I, I believe it is a double A, and I am right, two double A's. Dollar eighty-eight each. I think I got four of them. Um, I've got the entertainment unit with the bookshelves. That's one, two, three, and then to double up. I might have gotten more than that. Next. This is cute. Three dollars, nine cents. I've made a couple of these, and I uh, just don't have the time that I wish I did to continue crafting. It is a hobby, but this is so cute. So what I do is I kind of anchor these around um, my very large candle holders, and it is just a little leaf that says fall on it. Wood. And now I know they had some of these beads that are neutral colored. I've gotten them at the dollar, local Dollar Tree, but um, the quality on this is much better. All wood all around. You've got your orange and your cream. And then the tassel is really cute as well. It's got like this checkered orange and white ribbon with, I guess you could say, kind of like a burlap tassel. But it would look really cute just either hanging out like if you got an ottoman like I do with a little serving tray just accent pieces 
cute. It's going to look so nice. Um, I guess we'll crack this. It is a tree for $9.19. And again, I apologize because I should have made sure everything had the batteries in it. But I just have so many products to go through and want to get to it. And again, the prices will change. Well, some of my first hauls that didn't get that many reviews is uh, probably because I didn't change the prices there. But, okay, I like it. The, the branches on the tree are wire, so you can adjust the height, the width, kind of fluff them out. They've also got the LED lights. Sometimes they'll come charge. This one has batteries as well. It looks like it takes three. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a AAA. It doesn't say 1.5 volts. I, I believe that's a 3A. But does it have a charging dock? Dang it. I really should have had this charge. I, I actually uh, might come back on a future haul and let you see it lit up. But I don't see any wires or cords for it. So this is battery operated, which is good for me because I buy them in bulk, either at Costco or even the dollar store. But I got the little LED lights. Can you see that? And then again, I like that the branches are bendable. Make the way you want. It's pretty big, actually. Not too bad. $9.19. That could be a really cute um, centerpiece, right? Maybe in the window, my plant stand. But yeah, I'm kind of excited about this. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm barking up the wrong tree if you want to pick up me. All right. Will I stop? Never. I just like to embarrass my children, and once in a while, they will pop in and watch my channel, and they'll be like, oh my God, Mom, you're so corny. Yeah, I think. All right. Over here, $9.89. Again, the gnomes are in. And I thought this would be really cute outside with the doormats. Oh, he's so cute. And I, I can look at this and think, you know what? I can make that. But I don't have the time. So we got this uh, hanging gnome face. The only thing I'm concerned about this is um, it's pretty windy here in St. George, Utah. And um, it kicks up a lot of dust. I know, he's too cute. He's like way too cute to just get out there and let him get dusty. And he's going to blow away. But um, his beard is... I'm, I'm worried too about the way you hang him. Like, he's got to obviously have some kind of support on his back. But his beard is made out of the leaves. Isn't that cute? Oh my god, it's so cute. Right? I mean, I know you can't really tell it's a gnome. It could be like a cornucopia or a, a little bouquet of leaves. But um, once I mess with the beard, his leaves, and even if I had to cut a couple of them out and make his nose a little more predominant, I could work with this. I can make it work. But yeah, I thought he was cute. But I say $9.89, something like that. This is probably going to be a relatively quick call in comparison to my others because I'm just going to stick with themes and right now we're doing. Yeah, well, decor. And here is something I did not price. I don't think I could find that one. Another one I didn't price. We'll get back to that. Um, some more of those $1.88, the garland I showed you. All right, this was, thank God I priced it. I think there was a couple items that were, they were sent in different packages. Like one, I, I had one order and it was divided into like three packages. And for some reason I couldn't find the pricing on the order, but look it up if you like it. I don't know how to post the link underneath. I apologize. This was $5.98. So again, I have a uh, basket outside. I paint it when I get bored. Spray paint it with my bench light post trailing right now it is a cream color it's soon to be turquoise oh yeah definitely smells like plastic so what did i say that was oh shoo 
cute. Um, artificial plastic flowers. Oh, here it is. Dirt to dirt is um, $5.98. How many did I get? One, two, three, four? Four. So again, uh, Dollar Store, Dollar Tree has really nice like um, foliage type artificial stuff too. This is all plastic. Kind of gives me the fish tank feel, if that makes any sense to you. But um, there's four of them. And again, like my vase, I could put it as a centerpiece in the vase and just fluff up the colors. I mean, you, you, you see it, right? You see the orange and the browns and the olive green tones and like, oh, it's autumn until Christmas comes around. And then after Thanksgiving, everything's red and green and silver. Red, green, silver, but yeah. So um, sometimes with the garland I was showing you, the maple leaf garlands uh, over the bookshelves, I switch it up, try to be creative, but I'll put the maple leaves and hang the garland down under here. Let's see if I can give you a visual. Uh, uh. Yeah, so like say this is over the bookshelf and then I'll just kind of fill it with some of the flowers in between. I'll break off the stems with some wire cutters and use it as fillers. But trust me, I will give you a tour of my little home one of these days because there's a lot of products before I started doing these Timu hauls and these videos for you and for me. I um, just hung everything up and again, I got started with organizing. And like there's a sunglass holder I have, there's a scrunchie holder, there's my jewelry holders and you, you have to see it. Like I can hold it in front of you, but you're not going to get the gist of it if everything's falling off. Salut. Ah, water is so good for you. Or is it vodka? Who knows? Not vodka. Oh, I'm going to wait for that one because it's one of my favorite. One of the ones I've been waiting for. And so I did notice that a couple people that I've been watching their channels, they have music in the background. And in the past when I have done videos, I know that oh, this is not appropriate. You can't post this on Facebook. or. Um, but my son, look him up. Devin Tomata, D-E-V-I-N. So Devin with an I. Last name is... Capital D is in Delta, lowercase a. Capital M is in Marie, lowercase d a m o t a. Demota, Demata. My son Devin Demata has a song out called Drowning. It's been out for uh, two and a half plus years. Pretty good. Biased. I'm the mama. He's got a few songs out there, but I want to make sure before I put his music in one of my videos that I'm allowed. So I don't even know if Alexa picks it up. I know it's on, um, what's that other platform? Let's see. Alexa, play Drowning by Devin Demata. Drowning by Devin Demata on Amazon Music. Alexa, max volume. That's my son. Hey Ross, sauce it up. Drowning, I swear I can't breathe. I know you think about me, and I think I need to be free. Oh, shit, I don't know how to be. Drowning, I swear I can't breathe. I know you think about me, and I need to be free. Oh, shit, I don't know how to be. Drowning, I swear I can't breathe. I know you think about me, and I think I need to be free. Oh, shit, I don't know how to be. Drowning, I swear I can't breathe. I know you think about me, and I think I need to be free. All right, let's see if I have to read this. Alexa, stop. Nobody listens to me. Anyway. Sorry, we'll see if I make the cut or if they're going to say, you can't do that. I'm like, but it's my son. He's letting me have the copyrights. So, yeah. Anyway, check him out. Devin Damata. That song is called Drowning. Wrote it, produced it, created it, paid for everything himself. And he did it, I think, when he was 21. Filmed it in Las Vegas, where he was born and raised. And uh, <sighs> we got engaged the same day, July 29th. All right, son, I love you. Look, Mama's trying to work for you, too, to get you some likes and subscribes on his YouTube channel, Devin Damata. All right, next. Where was I? Team is. Um, $3.59. I think it's more. Garland. Now, um, okay. This one is, uh, I'm not really feeling this so much. I'm not going to lie. 
three fifty nine, nah, maybe a dollar fifty. And I'm frugal. Well, it may be cheap too, but I want something I get it. Like all these damn hauls I've been doing. Oops, can I say that? Can I use the G word? Is in dang nabbit. But um, oh, okay. There's more than one. I'm not feeling the yellow, but you know what? Um, it might pull. It might pull, especially with the other garland with the green, the green base again associated. You know what? That might pop it. It's just really, um, let's see, can we compare? Oh, there we go. Maybe? Oh, they're, they're pretty similar. This one's, yeah, okay. This one's just got more like the decor with the black. That's simple. This just gives me more of a dollar store vibe. But I can set this up with the LED lights because I don't want it bright, you know? It's not like I'm in a nightclub. I'll just, you know what? I think that's what... That's what I'm going to do, because I am feeling creative. I'm going to put this with the ones that light up, and it's just going to be like a filler. That works, right? I like it. Mama likes. Mama likes. All right, look. I'm already I'm almost done. Yeah, I told you it's going to be a short haul. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. You still with me? Pop-Tarts. My little biscuits. You with me? Pumpkin. All right, $2.39, I've got three of them. They're velvet, and they're cute. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Just little exit pieces. Again, I can put it up there with the stream. Fill in the garland, the borders. I like accent pieces. I don't want anything to, like, punch me in the face. So, um, I just use them as filler. Little, little pumpkins here. And I love to say I do it for the grandkids, but, um... Kazdin, my fiance's uh, grandson, he's mine too. As far as I'm concerned, he's mine too. He's a year and a half. He was born on Valentine's Day. Smart as a whip. Uh, my grandkids are in Illinois. Gosh, miss you. Evan, if you're watching this, I love you. I love you, love you, love you. One of these days, we'll do another YouTube video where we're not cooking. You can do a Timu haul. So uh, this is for my grandson. I'm going to send him the link. And uh, when Grandma comes next time, we're going to go through... Some I'm gonna have you get on the Timo app. Dad's gonna watch you. You order some things you want, and we will review them together. With that being said, um, two of my grandkids are on the spectrum, two out of three, and I'm telling you, beautiful minds, smart as can be, blows me away. Like these kids are going far in life. They're gonna and and my son, Nathan, he um. Makes me feel really ashamed of the type of mom I was sometimes because I just don't know how he's so amazing. Like, not one, but two kids with special needs. And my son's a beast, y'all. Straight up beast. You don't want to mess with his mama. Cage fighter, military, sick. But when it comes to his babies, ugh. They've got him eating on the palm of their hands. I mean, as it should be. And uh, I've told him so many times, like, I am so proud of you, son. You know, I, I just, I don't know where you get it from. And he's like, Mama, I get it from you. Just kidding. I'm not crying, but yeah. Anyway, 3Ds, this is kind of like a cream. This is like a brighter orange. This is kind of like a brownish. Love it. And again, I have a thing for the materials. And um, if you don't like them, you can use them as makeup sponges. Love it. Love it. All right. Um, you guys, you don't have to leave me comments. I know I'm corny. I know I'm hyper. I know I talk a lot about my kids and my friends and give shout outs. You have an option if you don't like it. Bye. Click out, but just kidding. I'm glad you're here. Hope you're still here. And just me, you know? Be you, boo. All right, so this is a, um, I, I wash my dishes by hand. Again, my OCD, or at least I'll rinse them, rinse them, suds them up a little bit, and then throw them in the dishwasher, and then I like to waste water and run the dishwasher. But when they are on the counter, I want it to look cute. Everything has to match, right? Issues. Or is that the norm? You guys feel me, obviously. I think we're all just kind of like extended family. 
if you're watching this team haul like me, you probably watched 20 others before me because I get a lot of, um, I don't want to say advice, but I will watch somebody else's haul and I'll be like, hey, you know what? I really liked her lighting or I loved her makeup that day or I loved her raw honesty that she's like, let me get ready in front of the camera. Let me just like show you I woke up like this and uh, I dig it because it's very personable. And I, that's what I want to come across to you is I want it to be like, you're my people, you're my peeps. We're hanging out. We're drinking our water. No, it's really water because, uh, uh, anyway, hopefully you get that vibe for me because I just want you to feel you're at home. So in the comments, let me know if you see, like, I've got eye boogers or like something on my nose or lipstick on my teeth. I appreciate it. Like, you gotta look out for each other. And I especially love it that I had another Kelly who also has her channel checked out mine, like, what you're like giving me advice and helping me yes 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 let's collaborate all right where was i the rambling of course ocd whatever adhd ocd omg drying mat love it you guys remember that living color two stamps up um so this is really thick it's almost like a rubber tire on the back so this is going to be super absorbent and it's a really good size. Uh, I, I believe there was like three different sizes and different colors. You could have went with the oranger. You could have gone the creamier color, um, like the fluorescent. It's just a simple pumpkin drawing mat, but I went with the browns. I like brown. I had uh, my stylist tell me her favorite color. Chloe said, my favorite color is yellow. And I'm like, I didn't say it. I don't know. She's new to my channel, so I probably shouldn't be like, who likes yellow is their favorite color? Like, I'm getting into the orange only because it's like team orange, you know? But I'm like, really? Yellow? All right. I don't hate it, but I, people would probably think brown's not a color, but I like brown. All right. Let me know if you guys uh, have any other hauls that you want me to look into. Like I said, um, not a real big fan of their perfumes. Um, okay. Correction, I like their perfumes, their scents are good, but I don't feel like they stay with me. And when I'm a flight attendant, sometimes I will easily work 12 to 14 hours. Um, I'm not gonna be all the time. You know, sometimes if I'm in the jump seat and it's by the back lab and somebody decides to blow it up and they're not using that poopery, God help us all. I have been known to pull out my Victoria's Secrets. Angel, like, Bed Bath & Beyond. Can I even say that on here? Oh, spray, 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 spray. Yes, I have it on me. But I've noticed the Timu sprays and perfumes, they just don't last as long. A lot of them, what I do like is they're travel-friendly little containers, but that'll be another haul. Anyway, uh, yeah, hello, fall. Crap. And yes, I have a bad mouth. $4.89. Hello, fall sign. Now, here's the thing. I'll wait till the crank is over. Um... fell. Oh, there it is. Dollar store. Yes, yes, yes. I have had my home de decorated with Dollar Tree, especially the plastic window. Oh, that smells. I kind of like it. Everybody says, team of stuff stinks. Um, yeah, I like the smell of gasoline. I like the smell of skunks. Call me crazy, but I like it. But yeah, you can definitely tell it smells. Anyway, back to uh, the Dollar Tree. Um, I was kind of worried when I ordered this and again, the $5 mark that it's going to be something I could have got at the Dollar Tree for $1.25, but it's not because although it looks similar to some things they've had, it's thicker. The particle board plywood, I would say usually they'd have one flank. This looks like it's maybe five. And, um, I just put the burlap rope in here. It's got the black ties in the back. I'll tie that up so it's secure. So we'll pretend because I know it'll, well, maybe it'll work. Okay, there we go. And that is just a Hello Fall. Again, that I've noticed the gnomes and the pickup trucks are like more popular in the last few years. So I jumped on the bag wagon, band wagon. I got it, but yeah, that's thicker. I like it, it's cute. 
see how long by the time I get everything like situated and the way I want it decorated, it'll go out of style again. But all right, are we really down to just a couple? I am down to a couple more outfit outfits. Um, items. Two dollars nineteen cents. Crack it. I think this is again just uh it is, it's the garland. Now here's the thing, if you do your own wreaths, you guys already know, right? Just make your own wreaths with it. Use it as accent pieces. Pull off the leaves. Wait, I believe in my last haul I had a bag of leaves. So these are lighter. These are more like when the leaves actually turn before winter hits. Does that make sense, right? You guys know. When they start like frying off and get all papery. So, again, I have more than one Timo account. I really, really, um, it's hurting me because I will order it on one account and again on the other. And then next thing you know, I've got like five of the same item. I'm like, okay, I ordered it at 2 a.m. I was working all day and uh, didn't mean to order it five times. But, um, I mean, I could still utilize it. If not, I'm going to donate it or sell it. So, eventually, I'm going to do a giveaway. I mean, what do I just say? Hey, you guys, what's your address? Let me send you a box. Like, kind of creepy because I don't think I'd give my address out to just anybody. But we're friends. You guys get to know me. All right. Where am I at? Ugh. Making a hot mess is where I'm at. A couple more items. And I'll do the ones that actually have prices on them. I think there's a few that, again, I couldn't price. Hopefully, you can hear me over the crinkling. Like a band-aid, rip it all quick. It's done. $16.38. I will tell you that I think the most I ever spent on a Timu product was $28. That's another story. Um, $16, what'd I say? $16.38. It's just a throw blanket, right? But me and my baby, we have a couple shows that we'll watch. Like for a while it was This Is Us, and then it was uh, the Ozarks, and... Orange is a new black and all this. Um, so they had three different sizes. This is more or less like, I think it was the medium. Uh, I should probably look at the package to see the dimensions. So the bottom ridge is flat and then you have the tassel sides. I swear I have it in yellow. I've, well, marigold. Here, look, let me just show you. This is my... Uh, Burgundy. This one's a lot thicker, obviously. This is like pure one imports versus Timu, but hey, you know what? This is perfect. But yeah, I kind of have the same thing. I showed you my decor. So I'll just like do the throw pillows to match, like that matched with this. And now this, but wait, there's more. So we've got the Timu blanket here. And then on my accent piece, this is the back of a pillow. Uh, I want to say it was Home Goods. No, it was Costco. I lie. It was like uh, $13 at Costco. And that's back. And there was like a set I could get, but I've got a lot of pillows. And I just thought, like, it goes, right? Like, look how cute. You would think I actually entertain and have company. Never. I think the only person other than family that's ever been to the house was um, my other flight attendant, Kelly, that just kicked my butt in shape on her last trip she was a uh she's a trainer was for the biggest loser i thought she was my friend and i i made the mistake to tell her you know kelly just got engaged and i really want to be able to pick any gown that i want i you know i was married for 20 years before but we got married in a courthouse so i never had like, the really big wedding and i'm gonna go big i'm 51 and this is my he's my last first kiss and uh she's like okay are you sure i'm like yeah she goes okay um i'm not gonna go easy on you i'm like girl i'm an aries from new york represent i can hang when i tell you that i really questioned our friendship at the end of that workout whew, i remember i i tapped the first day i was like trying to press her like i told you i'm tough <laughs> You want me to run on this incline up like the treadmill? Didn't even know they could go. Whoop. Yeah, girl, I got this. She's like, can you talk to me? And I'm like, she's like, talk to me. I'm like, she's like, you okay? I'm like, what's your heart rate? 172. Okay, I want you to bring it down. I got this. I'm tough. Woo. Day two. Yeah. 
I was like in the, that ring and I was like, I'm tapping out. You're on your own. I don't feel good. She's like drama queen. All right. She goes, you know that we're working together again next week because we bid so that we can uh, buddy up, so to speak. <sighs> Love her to pieces, but I, I don't know if she likes me very much, actually. I know I asked for it and she's not going to go easy on me. But I, no, I, I look at her like we're doing service together and we've got our flight attendant uniforms on and her calves just like punch you in the face. Her calves are like a soccer player. And I'm like, all right, Cristiano. I want to be like you someday, but I don't want to work for it. I just want cheese and potatoes and bread and whatever. Anyway, my rant. All right, these I don't have a price tag on. Again, back to the whole home sweet gnome thing. Thingamajig, the theme. Super, super cute. I don't know. I'm telling you, I, I complain about my white hair. So, true story. Go get my hair done today. And I'm like, okay, I'm embracing the gray because I had like, you know, I was born with jet black hair, turned blonde, and then went back to the dark red. You could see the white. So I go in and I say, hey, you know what? The goal is to make me look young. I, I don't want to see it. So obviously I got to color my hair and go lighter to blend it. <sighs> she said, uh, so you don't have the salt and pepper gray. You actually are 50% white. She's like, I think it's so beautiful. It's like beautiful. Not the silver fox, not the salt and pepper gray. My hair is white, y'all. White. All right. Embrace it. But then I'm like looking at all the stuff I ordered. I'm like, oh my God, this stuff has grandma all over it. But you know what? This grandma's got some style. I at least think so. I'm a little biased because I kind of like myself, but don't love myself. Anyway, let me shut up. So anyway, look at this. Uh, ha! I want to say I paid, I think these were up there. That's probably why they hid the price for me because then I probably never used Timo again. I think these were like over $15. So, but they are adorbs. They're adorable. It's a his and hers gnome. And when I tell you I'm over here like just playing with his beard, Oh my gosh, this literally feels like like rabbit fur or fox fur. And yes, I have pet a fox. Actually gonna buy one soon because you can have them legally in Utah. Don't judge me. I love foxes and raccoons, but oh my gosh, this like feels, maybe that's why they were so expensive. Oh my gosh, I just wanna play with this beard. Oh my gosh, shit's at robust. His wife's gonna come and be like, ooh, I already dropped her. Like She wasn't coming in at all, not at me, y'all. Just kidding. See, see what I did there? His wife is coming in and picked house. Stop touching my man's beard. That's my man. What? Like, okay. We're all friends. Best friends. But anyway. Um, yeah, isn't she cute? She's alright. <laughs> just sorry, it's an inside joke. I'm just playing. But um, yep. Yeah. Got the Mrs. Gnome and Mr. Gnome. Oh, they're cute. Now, here's the thing. I mean, they're really cute dolls, but I, I don't play with dolls. Not in the last few hours, anyway. And uh, I don't know how they're going to sit on the shelf. Like, I've got one over there now. And they're, like, taking over my home. Like, I never did the elf on the shelf. But these gnomes, I can't leave them alone. Look at me. I'm making a rhyme every time. My name is Shannon D. And the place to be is here on Timu. Just won't you watch me. All right, now. I'll stop. All right, kids, sorry I had to embarrass you a little bit. You know, you want to bust my chops about my videos. So there you go. That's what I do best. Anyway, they're really cute. I don't have a price on them. I wish I did, but they're sweet. Oh, all right. <sighs> Readjust my back. Last but not least, um, so I've had this uh, bathroom shower curtain set that I love, 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 love. I've had it since... So I'm doing the math in my head. It takes me a minute. 2017. It's purple. It's really pretty. I, I think I got it like on the Prime A. And uh, I just loved it. Paid a lot of money for it. So I was like, I'm going to keep it forever because I paid a small fortune for it. But it's time. Time to switch it out. And with Timu prices, 
I'm like, you know what? I can switch this out every three months. Oh, I got another one in there. I didn't know. And that is what I'm going to do. So this was a uh, bathroom set. Again, welcome to the fall, y'all. Here we go. Happy fall, y'all. Thing, nab it. So. I think it's the toilet seat cover, the rug in front of the bathtub, the shower curtain. Anyway, it's like four pieces. And what did I say it was? Did I even say $20.69? All right. Again, with the trucks. It's got the grip on the back, same thickness, happy fall, y'all. And then the truck says Farm Fresh Pumpkins. You got your gnomes in the back, right? That's cute, right? So it's got that, ah, oh, that's the word I told you I would think about it at the end of the video. It's like that Tempur-Pedic material, that Microsoft absorbent. So there you go. There you go. That's in front of the tub. Then you got that in front of the toilet. What do you guys, do you guys call it a toilet, a john, what do you call it, wait. Okay, that's weird. So, um, you'll actually see the decoration as you're sitting on the toilet. If you look at your feet, that's what you'll see. I think it should be reversed. I think if you're in there and you use a bathroom and you want to wash your hands, it should be facing the other way. Not like reading the newspaper. Like that. So it'll be like that. Happy fall, y'all. Yeah, happy fall to you, too. Deuces. Gross? Yeah. Okay, and then this is, um, got, uh, yeah, I'm not feeling this. Damn it. Dang it. I mean, I really was hoping I would like this. So it's got the strips that go over the lid for the bowl. But do you see how it's cut off? Okay, so yeah, it was only twenty sixty nine. Will it do? Of course it'll do. But because I'm a perfectionist, other than when I talk, I don't like how it just is kind of ripped off at the side. Like they ran out of the material. It's not centered. That's really going to mess with my OCD. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to put it up and see. But for $20.69, I really shouldn't complain. I just think that... Um, my expectations with Timo have been so amazing that if I get a product that's like, eh, I'm like all of a sudden judgmental and over. All right, here we go. Let's see. Um, you know what? I'm not going to open it. It has a shower curtain and the liner, and it is the same exact decor. So it basically matches. Everything matches with it. But we'll see. And even like... The, the flowers, like I said, I've got a small vase, so I can take one of these and just take my wire cutters. I've got a little vase on the back of the toilet and just cut it down. And oh, it's going to be cute. It's going to work. Did I get everything? Pretty much everything other than um, one of the things that I've yet to utilize, and I'm going to close out with this, is I got the screen for the backdrops. Like when I first started getting obsessed with Timo and watching other people's hauls, I would see that they, um, one girl films in her bathroom all the time. Twisted Gypsy, Sherry will like, typically for the most part, film like in her bedroom or sometimes in her car. She, she does other things. Um, but there was one, per I can't remember her name, sorry. Not like you're going to watch my channel because you're too busy doing yours. But um, she would always have these backdrops. And I thought, oh my God, how cute. I want to be like you when I grow up. But um, I bought the screen. So I have this one wall I couldn't use a lot. And then I thought, oh my God, I'm going to be so popular. I am going to be the new sensation. I'm going to go viral. Not yet. Goals, though. But then, uh, you get the backdrops, right? Or it's like if I want to take somebody's, uh, kid's school picture when they're in kindergarten. <laughs> Remember these backdrops? But anyway, it's really cute. It's not like I'm going to frame it, but it's supposed to be a backdrop, so let's pretend that... You know what? Shoot, I could just, like, take some thumbtacks. You guys would never know. Pretend I'm on the hayride. 
making a YouTube video. It's caught up in the back, but anyway, you get it. My ideas are not uh, always the best with my insomnia, but all right. It's almost time for me to go to bed, y'all. It's been a long, long day, but again, I want to thank you for joining me. I'm sure you probably rolled your eyes a couple times like, this girl's corny. Yes, I am, but I'm glad you're still here if you've made it this far and uh, <laughs> and reported me. Anyway, I have you, hope you have a great day. Again, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I think on my next haul, I still have some miscellaneous random items. I've got a beauty haul, which is going to be everything from jewelry to makeup hair pieces, accessories. I've got a uh, Bright on a Budget haul coming up too. <sighs> Lots of work ahead of me. But thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Stay happy, stay blessed, and I will see you again soon. Mwah. Bye.